Hello adventurers, welcome back to the channel. I'm Sawyer. I'm Danny. Together we are McPeak, McPeak Adventures. Adventures. It is early June, actually it's late May, early June. So you know what that means? It's blueberry picking season. So where are we? We are at the Outback Farm, which is a blueberry patch where you can pick your own blueberries. And it's located in Pryor, Oklahoma. Let's go adventuring. Today's adventure includes one of my favorite kinds of adventures. I feel like I say that a lot, but you guys, if you know that, or if you've seen our videos before, you know I love to pick my own fruit. So here we are picking blueberries. So out here at Outback Farm, if you're gonna be picking blueberries, it is $25 for a gallon, and that's basically the only size and only price that they do. They like to make it really simple. So you get your gallon bucket, you fill it up, $25. Cool thing about blueberries is like once you find a little thing of them, you can just kind of grab it and wiggle your hand around and look, bloop. Just kind of roll them in your hand. We were told that like when blueberries, you pick them, they have this like film on them. And basically it's a protective layer. So if you rub them in your hands like this, it makes it shiny. That's probably not the best example, but um, like if you zoom in on any of these, they kind of have like a white coating on them. So if you rub them off, rub the coating off, it makes it shiny. So, I'm gonna try one, because she said to try them. That one's good. So, I'd say these are ready to write, ready to pick if they are darker blue or purple, whichever color you see. Hey dear, after we get home with these blueberries, what are you gonna make with them? I think I'm just gonna eat them. Just eat them, plain? Or, I might look up how to make blueberry muffins with them because I don't know if I've ever made blueberry muffins that I have to admit, I haven't made them with fresh blueberries before. So maybe I'll need to look up how to make blueberry muffins with fresh blueberries and not the box kind with the can of them inside. Got a decent amount, but we still have a long way to go. I would say, I thought this bucket had measuring. Oh, it does. It does. So we are almost at one liter. I'm very picky about the ones that I pick you have to get the ones that are up higher because no one can get up to the height that you are at. And these are like eye level with you. Anybody can get these. Anybody. Get these hands. Just kidding. So are you saying this is a good activity for people of all heights, as in an entire family could come out and do this? Oh yeah, and it's super easy. Like you just barely touch these. And if you touch it and it falls right off, then you know like, oh, that one's good to go. If you go to get it and it's not really coming loose, then let it be. Let Move it be. to the next one. Let oh. it be. Fell right off. Fell right off. Fell right off. It's very, very easy. If you had to put any effort behind pulling the blueberry, then it's, it's not good. I'm trying to get a good shot of you putting them in the bucket. Yeah. Sometimes if you get lucky, you'll find you know, a little clump of like five or six of them all together, and you could literally pull, see. You could that... pull them all off at once okay. if you wanted to. It's always good when you're doing an activity like this to get out here fairly early um, before the sun is all the way up and at its hottest point. If you're gonna be out here for a while, make sure you pack some sunscreen because it's really easy to get a sunburn out here just aimlessly walking around picking berries. Especially in my self's case because I am bear skin. There are a lot of blueberry plants out here. Just rub your thumb on them and they should just start plopping off. They up. are, they're just falling in my hand basically. You just gotta be ready to catch because they don't always roll, right? Whole little thing of them right here too. 
Just rub your thumb on them. Bloop, bloop, bloop. Put the bucket below to catch them. Oh, kind of blew that one up a little bit. You'll have to sample that one. This is the one he just told me to sample. Mmm, so good. Do you remember the last time we went and picked blueberries somewhere and we had a gallon and you ate half the gallon on the drive home? <laughs> That's not true. I'm getting serious. I put my bucket down and I'm picking with two hands, which is what everybody else seemed to be doing. I don't know why we didn't pick up on that sooner. Well, it's hard to use two hands when you have a camera in one hand. That is true. And a blueberry in the other. All right, adventurers, this concludes our time here at the Outback Farm picking blueberries. If you enjoy this video and you want to see more of our content, please subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on our social media platforms. We'll see you on our next adventure.